It's right down the pipe. <laughs> Jesse said he's okay with the pressure of the camera being on. Let's see if he can respond. Let's see if he can clean that up. He hit a good drive in a good second. Let's see if he can make his bogey. Here we have the fifth hole, about 150, 51 yards, but straight downhill to a front pin, not playing more than 30. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Doc's hit that off to the left. Let's see if the hill can help. Uh, Jesse hit a good pitch, about 75 yards to here. This is for birdie on number seven. Can he capitalize? <laughs> That's great. A uh, little pitch off the tee. Jesse's right in the fairway. GPS says about 166 here on number nine. Uh, he left it out right a little. Hit it pretty good. Tenth hole, 183 yards. Hey, Looks like someone rolled it off the tee. I gave him another shot here on 10. He said he had ketchup on his hand, so. And he has no towel or anything to clean anything with, so. I guess that's a good enough reason to get a mulligan. That was better. I think he wiped the ketchup on his pants. That's pretty buried. Unfortunately, he's going to have to do a pitching wedge. The sandwich is at home in a box. I wish I had a sandwich. Sandwich is at home in a box. Clifton sent it to me separate. And I opened the box and realized what it was, and I just left it there. So. Sandwich, I think so. Just a short drive from the 10th green and 11th tee box is a softball stadium where uh, the Missouri Tigers are going to take on the LSU Tigers in a regional NCAA softball game this afternoon, 3.30. If you turn on ESPN, you'll be able to watch this, um, but I don't think we're going. Here we're behind number 11 green. Well, he hit it up into there. He got a bad break, went a little too far. It was in jail.
Oh. I'll give you that one. Yeah, I see for six. I'll give you that. R five twelve. Which way did you go? A little bit left. Five hundred twenty yards. Right, but I should pitch that up. Here we are at 14, 355-yard hole. It doesn't look much room up there for a driver, but... Slopes a little bit from left to right. I'll baby it. There's a good hook hole. Yeah, it looks like the fairway is uh, on the side of a mountain out there, so. If Jesse's gonna hook one, this is the perfect hole to hook it, as long as he starts it well enough right. If he goes too far right, it's doomsday. Let's see. Ah, uh, he started at the hill left. It's gotta come down back to the right somewhere. You can see just the top of the flag stick up off in the, uh, just on the right there. That may be in the hole. He plays away quickly. He said that may be in the hole. Might be. I don't think it is. Here's my perfect drive. Oh. Just under a hundy. Up the hill. He was about 123 yards on his uh, third shot here. He hit less than a perfect tee ball. Dribble, he dribbled it off the tee. <laughs> he was going to blow it through some trees and then uh, somehow he said the ball was going to accelerate up the fairway. Did not happen. So now he's got this. Uh, looks like a little left. Yep. Oh, right in the middle of the fairway. Hit up there, rolled up there. On his way under this tree, and then there are a bunch of other, other trees. So, I guess I'm going low. No other, no other option. So, we're left by me because we'll see. Yeah, we got a bad break here next to the uh, 15th green. He said he's going to go lefty. He did ask, could he scoop the ball, and I told him no. Oh. Can you get in there at all? Let's see what he can do here. This is a tricky situation. Here he comes. See my ball is there too. That's where my shot ended up. You're gonna have to have some touch on this pitch shot. See if he has the touch. Not bad. I wish I had a sandwich here. Got one at home. It's in a box.
just ran too much. It did. There's a double boat to put. Oh, that's still going. That's horrible. The bogey putt's almost as long as my par putt. Apparently that one was for par. Jesse has about 123 yards here on number 17. His perfect drive ran through the fairway, as did mine. Not sure what club he's hit. got. Maybe a nine, maybe eight. <laughs> he checked it. Go! Oh! <laughs> I don't think that's on the green. <laughs> Sound very good. <laughs> Which uh, was not that good. You can see the green right back there. We're way left somewhere. That looks good. Nice shot. You could make a par out of this. <laughs> I thought Jesse's pitch was a little closer than this, but still, he has a good shot at a par. Let's see if he can do it. Here on number uh, 17. Uh, chalk it up to a bogey. I couldn't do very much with my pitch. I'm not a little too long of a putt for a par, but you never know. You never know. Nice. Here in the last hole, 18, Jesse's stretching a warm up a little, it looks like. What are you going to do on this tee shot? All righty. Let's see if you can get it anywhere near the fairway. That seems to be over there somewhere. Tree. This whole whole sponsor to you by Murray's. Good food, good jazz. And this is the soy that's gonna net TPC this year. A nice little draw driver. Yeah, that's a good driver. All day long. All day long. how rock hard that fairway is. It might have it might have missed off to the left a little. I hit a good one. And there's our sponsor. Thank you, Murray. Murray. It doesn't they, they don't have an A in Murray. Thank you, Murray. After a delicate pitch from the trees back to the fairway between bunkers and everything. At 130 yards. Sound a little fat and a little right. It's not on the green. I'll apologize now. Jesse's ball did make it to the green and did make it over the green. So he's got this for par. It's kind of lengthy, but... Someone's blowing their horn. Undistracted at all, he almost made it. Those must be the LSU maniacs. Oh, it's the Missouri maniacs. Same thing. I've got this for birdie. Only one birdie has been made all late today. This will be made. 
I can't let you have the only birdie of the day. That'd be ridiculous. I make only pars too. You can make a par. I've made a par. This is money. Oh, hard luck. If you wait a little bit, it may shake. Only birdie.